Hey guys, welcome to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can change your avatar thumbnail on Roblox. So for example, with Clone Trooper, on his profile over here, and his avatar animation right here. The same with mine. There's the avatar thumbnail, and the other thumbnail type for the character. Now, I'm using Firefox, so this may be a little different but it's the exact same thing and i'm going to be showing you two ways that you can do it one is with the console that the majority of the videos show and the other way is with a extension that you can have on google chrome that someone has made which i'll show you how you can do that it's pretty simple as well it's a simplified version of the console one it's the same one it's just a widget so what you do is you right click click inspect element head over to console then you go to the pasting over here, and you paste uh, this right here. I'm going to be leaving this in the description and the comment, pinned comment. And I'm going to explain what each of this, uh, what each of these lines do. So, over here in the camera section is the distance scale. I recommend having 0.5 to 1.5 if you're using the headshot or the first thumbnail type which is this one right here the field of view I would keep it at 30 but you can change it to a however or whatever you want X and Y rod deck is the X and Y axis so X would be horizontal and Y would be vertical I believe and the emote asset ID is where you place the asset ID of the emote that you want on your profile. You do not have to do this if you don't want to. And note that the emote is an emote that you own in your inventory. It can't be any other emote or it won't work. And the thumbnail type is what I mentioned earlier. The first one, which is number one, is the close up, which is the one over here. And number two would be the one over here. So I'm going to get a emote asset ID real quick that I have owned on how to get an emote asset ID is you want to go to an emote that you have and you want to go up to the URL and you see the numbers over here just want to double click that and control C or right click and copy and that's how you get the emote ID next thing what you want to do is you want to change the zero and paste in the emote ID that you've just copied for this sake, I'm going to use it for the second body type. So that would be number two. I'm not going to change anything else. Then I'm going to press enter. And as you can see, nothing happened. So you need to refresh the page. And there you have it. The emote has been used for the character, as I just said, or just placed it. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to do it for the thumbnail over here. And I am going to change uh, the x-axis to 15 and the y-axis to 15. Don't forget to change this to one for the headshot. Enter and refresh. And as you see, the character's head turned to the left side instead of staring into my soul. That's how you do it in the console. Um, I'm going to be showing you how you can do it in an extension for Google Chrome, which is the same thing as a console, but it's made as a widget and it's more simplified. So I'll, we'll get right to that. I'll leave a link to this GitHub repository in the description below. What this is, is the RWP or Roblox web panel that this person has made. And in the readme section, it also explains how to do it, but I'll just show you real quick. So what you want to do is you want to press on code. 
download zip and it'll download the file so what you want to do after you've downloaded the pack is you want to go to the folder that you have it saved in and you want to extract it there so it would show it right here you can double click it if you want but the extension is what we mainly want to use next what you want to do is you want to head over to google chrome then you want to press the puzzle icon up here in extensions then you want to click on manage extensions you can also type in the uri that's above over here next thing what you want to do is you want to click enable developer mode then you want to click load unpacked assuming you already extracted here the zip file that you've downloaded from the github repository and what you want to do is you want to go to the file that you've saved it you want to double click on rwp main and then click on extension then select folder do not select the entire rwp main or it will give you an error once you select that you see you have the roblox web panel extension and you keep that enabled next thing what you want to do is you want to have it to your roblox profile now once you're on your profile you would want to click on the puzzle again and you want to pin it if you haven't pinned it already or it doesn't show then what you want to do is you want to click on roblox web panel and then click injection enabled once that is checked you want to refresh the page and you'll see the widget shows up right here this is the thumbnail customization and it's the exact same thing as the console but more simplified and more straightforward so as i s stated earlier distance is the distance of the profiles i'll put that at one field of view i wouldn't touch that but personal preference the horizontal rotation is the x y is the x-axis and the vertical rotation is the y-axis thumbnail type is headshot or body shot headshot meaning thumbnail type 1 which is over here and body shot is thumbnail type 2 which is over here and the email ID which I showed how to get that earlier now I'm going to change this to minus 15 so the character turns to the right and all I have to do is I just click re-render and it would refresh the page automatically and there you have it my character turned and looked to the right and this one's still the same and there you have it now what if you finished what do you do next to get rid of this it's very simple you just press the Roblox web panel extension and just disable injection enabled and then refresh the page again and the widget should be gone that is it for this tutorial i hope this tutorial helped you and be creative with this but do not have any inappropriate content or inappropriate poses because obviously you can you can get terminated for that um from my knowledge this will not get you banned unless obviously like i just stated it's for inappropriate purposes because the api is fully out and Almost everybody's done this already. So that's how you do it. Um, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.